Hey guys, it's Jensen. Let's talk about what I've been reading this week. So this week I finished one book and that was A Grown Up Kind of Pretty by Jocelyn Jackson. I gave it three out of five stars. I think I told you I gave Gods in Alabama four out of five stars, but I think I changed my mind to a three out of five stars. They're both just really good books. They're not anything spectacular or amazing or you know, just they, I didn't close those books and feel like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I read this book. It was more, this was a really good book. It wasn't great, but it was really good. Um, so I think I'm giving them both three out of five stars. I don't want to say they're fluff or light because they do deal with some darker subjects and there are attempts at a deeper meaning that maybe someone else will get, but I didn't get the deeper meaning the author was trying to get across. So this book was about a family of women and every 15 years they feel like they just run into bad luck because the grandma when she was 15 she got pregnant then when she turned 30 her 15 year old daughter got pregnant and now they're trying to keep her 15 year old granddaughter on the right path trying to prevent her from getting pregnant trying to prevent the same mistakes but they're still worried because they feel like their family is cursed every 15 years and so they're worried that this could be the worst 15 year landmark yet when a pile of bones is buried in their is found buried in their backyard and it you know causes an uproar in their lives it could potentially break apart their family and alter the course of their lives so the premise really intrigued me i was really interested in it and i was hoping to get some strong female characters, uh, deep co emotional co uh, connections between the women in this book, and I feel like I didn't really get that. I feel like I didn't get a sense of their connection, particularly the granddaughter's connection with her mom and her grandma, which is a shame because I feel like the ending could have packed a bigger punch if I felt that I understood their connection and if I, if I, if I felt that it was a really strong one, but I didn't get that. and. Which, which is a shame. And um, the writing was okay. It's, it's pretty good. It's really easy to read. It was very readable. I could just pick it up and didn't want to put it down. Um, yeah, it was, it was good, but it wasn't great. And I feel like it could have been better. So this week I also picked up Interpreter of Maladies by Jhumpa Lahiri. Um, I have read, I'm on the third story out of mine. So the first one sufficiently depressed me, and the second one was okay. It was it was pretty good. She has such a way with writing. She's just a, such a beautiful writer, and the way she packs in details and helps us to get to know these characters really well, and know their history and know what their lives are like, even though we're only going to spend about twenty pages with them, maybe is just so impressive to me. So I am really enjoying this book so far. She's just super hairy. I, I, I'm so excited to read more of her works because I feel like she must just be a master if I'm only two stories in and I'm already loving this book. So yeah. And finally, I picked up The Color Purple by Alice Walker. I didn't get that far into this, unfortunately. I'm trying to focus on my library books because they're due soon, but I did want to pick this up and start it. And I didn't realize that this is an epistolary novel, first of all, which for those who don't know, an epistolary novel is a novel that's written as a series of documents, usually letters. And I really like those uh, novels, novels that are structured that way uh, because I feel like they're really easy to read and really easy to get through because it's just shorter sections. I've talked before about how when a book has shorter chapters or shorter sections, it's a lot easier for me to get through. So I'm excited about this one. Hopefully I can read it pretty quickly if, if the structure holds up and it, the letters don't get too long. Um, so far it's really depressing. What I've gathered so far from it is it's about a girl who's had a really hard life. She has been raped by her father and given birth to his children. So she's a victim of incest and right now at the point where I'm at she's about to be basically sold off to a man who's much older than her and basically marry him and take care of his children. So. I feel like this book is going to depress me. It's probably going to make me cry, but hopefully her life will get better from here, maybe. So this is really good so far though. It's really well written. It's a little bit hard to read because it's written 
accented, which is a little bit difficult to read. So it's not exactly readable because I feel like I have to read it slower to understand what the character's saying because it's written in her accent. But it's still, I don't want to say enjoyable because it's really heartbreaking, but it's a very good read so far. It's really interesting to get this character's perspective and you already want, you're already rooting for her and you want the best for her. So yeah. So hopefully I will finish Interpreter Maladies very soon as it's not that long and I hope I can pick up again. This is the story of a happy marriage by Ann Patchett. I haven't picked this up this week but I really really want to, I want to finish this before I have to return it to the library. I might just read a little bit at a time which was the initial plan but I got distracted. Um, so yeah I'm really hoping I can pick this up because I want to read all of these essays and I want to finally have read an Ann Patchett, even though I probably should read, have read one of her novels first, but you know, I really wanted to read this and it was available, so yeah. And then I would I also want to pick up The Perfect Couple by Ellen Hildebrand. I have to kind of prioritize what library books I want to read now since they're going to be due soon. I have to prioritize, uh, prioritize okay, which ones do I absolutely want to get to before they have to go back? And this is one that I just, I really want a fun beach thriller, summer murder mystery. I'm just really excited. And I, I, I haven't read an, an Ellen Hildebrand, but I just am looking for a poolside read. I just, I can't go to my pool right now because of the coronavirus plus uh, the place where I live is stupid. But, um, so I just want to be able to feel like it's summer and so I'm really hoping that this book can evoke that for me. This book, for anyone who doesn't know, is about a, um, it's about a couple who are getting married in Nantucket, I think, and the day of the wedding, there's a murder and secrets are laid out in the open and the, the detective who is working on the case comes to realize that no couple is perfect so and and everyone has secrets so i'm really excited about this i hope i can get to it this week so this week i read and finished a grown-up kind of pretty by jocelyn jackson i picked up the interpreter of maladies by jimba lahiri and the color purple by alice walker hope to continue to read these next week and i hope to pick up next week this is the story of a happy marriage by ann patchett and the perfect couple by ellen hildebrand Thank you so much for watching this video. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.